I, uh, I should finish my rounds. Good evening, Lieutenant. Hello everyone, welcome back. Lan Nunian Singh and James T. Kirk were reunited in Strange New Worlds after a fantastic time travel romance episode. Ships planning to depart when that reunion took place, nevertheless, discovered that the tide was lower than they had anticipated. Even though it could be a regular TV show cliché, this time they have a compelling narrative justification for delaying the characters' reunion. Lan may have a crush on James Kirk, but it's not the one shown in the episode. Lan is taken to the past alongside Kirk in Season 2, Episode 3, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, but one from a different timeline. Although the program itself was mainly about character, it may appear like a cliché sci-fi concept. Lan is shocked to see the real Kirk in person. She's been taken by one of Starfleet's most affable males, and anybody else aboard the Enterprise knows it. Kirk seems to be interpreting things in this way. By the standards of the original series, he doesn't start out strong. In contrast to his interaction with Uhura, Kirk is unmistakably pursuing Lan. However, this episode accentuates Kirk's compassion. He discloses things to her that earlier tales have kept for situations with Spock or Bones. On Strange New Worlds, it's feasible that Kirk and Lan's romance may go someplace. It's a nice way to get him back into the series, if anything. However, even if it did, Lan wouldn't truly want it. The Kirk from the parallel reality is slain and left in the past in a clever bit of narrative cleanup. Lan, who suggested going back to her timeline and working things out there, is saddened by this loss. Lan undoubtedly imagined she would be a part of his destiny as the universe's stand in Jim Kirk. Kirk still has that timeless appeal despite the terrible chronology he came from. The fact that he was the first person to know her name and not recoil affected her, too. After all, they were on a quest to rescue the worst tyrant from their history. He is merely also her ancestor, by coincidence. He didn't need her to prove herself to him. The old Kirk charm may have helped. There are some discrepancies between the fictional Kirk and the guy Lan grew to like. He is not from the US Iowa, he is from Earth. Sam, his brother, was not slain and is still alive to argue with him over who has the better job. Khan Noonien Singh is another person he is aware of, but he is not yet aware of how significant a role he would play in his life. The Kirk Lan that Lan spent so much time with may look, sound, and act just like him, but he will never be him. And lost in translation, Strange New Worlds emphasizes Kirk's empathy, which is a recurring quality. Kirk from the original series stood out from many other leading males on television at the time. He was undoubtedly a ladies' man, in part because it was what the public anticipated from their intrepid heroes. Particularly with regards to the way it treated female performers and characters, Toss was never quite faultless. It was, nonetheless, groundbreaking in comparison to other shows of the time. Regardless of whether they were on the Enterprise crew, women were treated equally. Kirk was never abrasive or cruel. Although it wasn't very sustained, Kirk loved the ladies he connected with, and he never passed judgment on those he didn't. For instance, the Star Trek, the animated series alien bounty hunter who wished to create green memories with him. In fact, if Lan ever accepts Kirk's invitation to a drink on Strange New Worlds, she could end up breaking his heart. When he opened out to Lan, Kirk was at his most sincere and romantic best. She could find this one fascinating even if he's not her James Kirk. But even if she succeeds, their connection will always be plagued by the specter of the Kirk who never was. Lan is truly delighted that a real, breathing Jim Kirk exists. He will never again be the type of guy who went back in time and only saw her, no matter how nice or attractive he is.